Okay, welcome to the first lesson this week in our literacy unit. So, but it's actually the sixth lesson of our um, fairy tale unit. So we're, today we're going to plan our very own twisted fairy tale. And your success criteria is I can follow the plot of a fairy tale. I can tell the story from another character's point of view. So to warm up then, have a look at this sentence. Once upon a time, there was a princess. I want you to pause the video now and fix it, please. Hopefully you spotted these mistakes. So I didn't put a capital letter at the start of my sentence. I spelt time wrong and I didn't put a full stop at the end of the sentence. So when, um, when we're writing, we need to always make sure that we are checking for our mistakes. Okay, But I think we can go a step further now that we're in year four. So those mistakes were hopefully quite easy for you to spot. But I think we can do, we can up-level this sentence and maybe you think it's a mistake to not put in some extra details. So this is what I've put. Once upon a time, in an incredible palace, lived a kind, intelligent and beautiful princess. So I've put, dropped in a, in an incredible palace and I've also put a power of three with three, I think, ambitious adjectives. Kind, intelligent and beautiful princess. So there's, that's a bit of a warm-up for you. So today, you are going to plan your own twisted fairy tale. You can choose any fairy tale you like. So hopefully, over the weekend and from last week, you've got a little bit of an idea of what fairy tale you want to twist. So, let's have a little reminder. Tell the screen now, what is the point of view? What is the point of view? So we had the princess and the P, and the P and the princess. So the point of view is who the whose opinion the story is written from. So when the, with the princess and the P, it was from the princess and the prince's point of view. But the P and the princess was from the P's point of view. So, so the P and the princess had twisted the story to be all about the P. So the plot... Can you tell the screen now, what is the plot? Well, hopefully you remember that the plot of the story is what happens um, in, in the story. So when we do lots of work on this, like with story mountains and lots of things like that, so trying to work out what the, what the, the map of the story is, what the sequence of the story is. So the basic plot of pretty much every fairy tale, although there's some, a bit more... Uh, little bits happen here and there, but everything is always happy and lovely at the start, and everything's quite, quite nice. And we and uh, there's lots of pretty, pretty things going on, and everyone's very very happy. And then, a problem occurs. And then after the problem occurs, so something dangerous might happen. They might have to, uh, or a, a bad character arrives. Something something terrible might happen, or someone gets lost, like Beauty and the Beast. And they try to solve the problem, so they solve the problem in some way, and then at the end, they live happily ever after. So that is a very basic plot of pretty much every fairy tale, although sometimes they're a little bit more complicated, aren't they? And maybe that this the section here, a problem occurs, and they, they try to solve the problem. This bit here can, can become a little bit more complicated. But that is the basic plot of every fairy tale. So... You can plot out your um, uh, stories in lots of different ways. So here is a story map of the princess and the pea that we looked at last week. And you could today pr plan your story like this. So you could have, um, you could draw pictures and some notes all around it with, with speech. Okay, and you can, and the pictures actually help you remember all the different bits that happened. And you all did a great job of uh, retelling the story using this uh, story map. Or you could use a story mountain. So a story mountain that looks like this might be really helpful. So you can start with your introduction, your build-up, what, what kind of happens at the start, your problem, so what, what bad thing happens, and then, or what, it doesn't have to be a bad thing, it could be that you're just in search of a new, of a new princess, and then the resolution, how it's fixed, and then how does it end, you're happily ever after.
Okay. Or you can do it in a comic style. So some of you might like to do it a bit more organised and you'd put your notes in each of the boxes there. So start here and you, you start to think about what might happen in, in the story. So when you're thinking about your story today, you're the, planning your story, I've got a little bit of advice for you. So my big thing is keep it simple otherwise your story is going to be really hard to write next week and you're going to you're going to spend ages trying to work out whereabouts you are in the story but then use a story you know really well although you might have a really good idea for for another story if you don't know the story very well then you're going to find it very hard to write this week as well okay make the i think Making the villain into a good guy is probably the simplest way of doing it, okay? Unless you want to write something like um, Cinderella from the perspective of her glass slipper, or um, that might be a quite a nice one actually. Uh, keep true to the original story with only little changes, because then the story map will be would, will almost uh, fill in itself. You just need to follow the normal story, but just write it from the perspective of the um of the of the character that you've chosen or the thing that you've chosen so have a think what fairy tale might be the best one for you to choose okay so i've chosen to do beauty and the beast because i watched it recently with my daughter with essie and um i th i thought well actually stealing some ideas from um the, the Three Little Pigs and the Wolf, where we, we heard that story last week about the wolf actually not being a bad guy, I started to steal the idea. So here's my story map, and I chose to use the comic style. So Gaston had come back from war. So Gaston is the bad guy, isn't he, in, in Beauty and the Beast, and he ends up having a fight with Beauty and the Beast. So I thought, well, actually, let's turn Gaston into the good guy. So Gaston had come had just come back from war, he had loved Belle all his life. Belle was actually very rude to him, but he loved her anyway. He was very worried when her dad went missing, and it was his friends who laughed, not him. He was worried sick, but could not help Belle find him, as he had a doctor's appointment. And when he knew, knew Belle had, got, had gone missing, he rounded up the whole village to try and look for, for her. Okay, and bravely he fought the beast but lost his footing and fell he was more worried about Belle's safety than his own Okay, it turned out that the beast was a, was a prince and his best mate from school he was, he was best man at their wedding in the end so actually that changes, twists the story so we all think at the end of Beauty and the Beast that Gaston had fallen off the, uh, off the building and he's, um, he's gone forever but actually he fell. Maybe he's done even more damage to his back and his leg. And he was, in the end, he was best man. And all he did really was, his only, um, the only bad thing he, he did was love Belle too much. And maybe everyone would have a better opinion of, of Gaston. Okay, so there's my example. So see how I've kept it nice and simple, true to the story of Beauty and the Beast. So all the events that happen are still the same, with uh, the dad going missing, Belle going to look for them, and her going missing, and then the fight at the end. But then, but I've changed it so that actually Gaston didn't do that much wrong. He was just looking out for the person that he he truly loved. Okay, so hopefully you can do a really good job of your uh, your story story map today. Choose a story that you know really well and um, keep, your, keep it simple. So good luck and I look, really look forward to seeing how creative you can be.